Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the first round of 32 elimination match. So, this is the first game of the first match. The format is a best of two and a half in a way. If uh, they'll play two games with draws as a possible result, if the two games are a draw or a win for each side, then they will play a third game with overtime enabled. So, it's a, or a best of one and a half for Sol. Okay, it's a best of one and a half, if you like. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, first of all, points for us. Yeah. Um, so, we've got Olivier Dulac up against Jay Leave. And uh, yeah, there's, I don't think we need background of groups or anything, right? It's just, it doesn't really matter where they came from, it's the fact that they're here. Um, I still think, you know, it is the community element, so we can say that Jay Leave is American, qualified through the TRBBL, and Olivier is French and qualified from a French league. <laughs> Vent des Gobs, I refuse to uh, try to pronounce it correctly, just because, you know, it'd sound terrible and they'd hate me. So there you go. I can just do a comedy pronunciation instead. And uh, yeah, so like this is it. We've got, you know, both. It's really, really got to not lose, right? You've got to not lose in these games. Um, that's number one thing. More than trying to win, it's you have to not lose. If you don't lose, you'll at least get to game three. If you lose the first game, then you've got to try and win. It's really hard to try and get a win. So you've just got to try and draw. Um, where's the rule set? That's a good question. I'll, I'll link it in the, uh, in the description in future. But not right. It's probably if you go to break its one. If you go, if you looked at the, uh, if you look at the pinned comment here. Wait, oh, it's not pinned anymore. I didn't pin it forever. Okay, I'll, let me pin. In the pinned comments, if you go to Breaky T's, Breaky T's thing has got all the links. Um, and there'll be links there for anything you desire. And in fact, my my spreadsheets link to break it anywhere. Oh, a blitz! Oh dear me! So, not a terrible setup from Jay Leave except he could have had a player here and a player here to protect against the blitz. They're a bit tighter and that means the blitz is a little bit better for Olivier. Also he's trying to hit the tree even though it's got jump up which seems even worse than normal trying to hit the tree. Ah. Thank you very much, Penguin. Do you know what? I'll learn how to pronounce it. I'll look it up. Glorious. No, I won't give and, in uh, until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> so, Olivier starts with the ball. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. And, uh, yes, this round will be at least 32 matches and even up to 48. Yes, Micro Salve. Miko Selva, it's going to be brutal. It's going to be absolutely brutal. I'm going to try and, well, I'm going to cast them all at least as replays. I'm going to try and cast uh, at least the. Um... You know, the funny thing is, he could have played around it more, right? If he had a player here and a player here, um, he wouldn't have been able to catch it. Oh, a lot harder to catch it anyway. So, you know, that's why you go out there if you can. And, you know, he wanted the assists and stuff. He could have gone there, but yeah, it's a lot of games this week, yeah. But yeah, this is an absolute disaster. Also, it was the tackler. It was... It was also the tackler that got stunned. <laughs> so literally, the guy who would have blitzed the... The guy who would have blitzed the dancer is the one who got stunned. Um, so yeah. After saying it's very important not to lose, it looks like Jay Leave has lost instantly and now has to beat Olivier in the second match. But, you know, it's not over yet, right? It's not over yet. Um, 
But flip me, yeah, the stun as well is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. How long am I going to do it? It is indeed an absolute nightmare for Jay Leave. Instant full dicing. Um, Wrestle would have been his best, except Wrestle's already, I guess his Wrestle's over here. And, uh, yep. Yeah, it was still unlucky. Like, he did set up pretty well against the Blitz, right? He, he did set up pretty well against the Blitz. He just, oh my god, it's a loner as well. Enjoy your rubbish team. Okay, he gets the 3 plus loner. Wow, 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 wow. Now he gets to punch the uh, dancer. Reroll. There's almost no point because you don't have a recovery afterwards anyway. All right, at least he surrounded the wood elf. Like, but. There is a frenzy player here as well, so he's definitely going to get somebody surfed, and then Olivier is just going to run back and have a cage here. So yeah, this is pretty brutal. The jump up tree is incredible, isn't it? Just guaranteed up. I mean, the thing of the jump up tree is people just shouldn't try to knock it down, right? Like it's kind of good, I guess, in that it stops people trying to knock it down. Except Jay Lever's still trying to knock it down for some reason. <laughs> Very strange. Yeah, all the line stores are rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Yeah. This was fun for Jerry. He could he could just try and score. I guess yeah, I guess that's an option, right? Um Olivier could just score. I'd imagine he'd try and uh come back. Yeah, four catches. <laughs> Another stun. <laughs> Why not? I mean, there's no reason not to, right? You know, elves hit just as hard as 99% of players. So... Yeah. Wow, what a start. What a start. Poor old Jay Leave. Is in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be quite fair, wouldn't it? Oh, he does go for the dodge. Honestly, I would have probably brought in the sidestepper and two dice with a catcher after my like kind of PTSD from my uh, my group games of two dodges with a ball carrier and failing them both. But no such fears for Olivier. And he won in 36s and Kazes himself. <laughs> Maybe he should have had that fear. <laughs> that could have been the dancer. Flip me. And Apple works on him. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, that would have been good for Jay Leave if, you know, this was Olivier's drive. Unfortunately, it's Jay Leave's drive. And uh, Olivier's got the ball caged. <laughs> it was always allowed. Jay Leave would be apologising to uh, Olivier now if, if Jay Leave was Sol. Three dice with the uh, Slayer, surely. With that stand up. I really like this rushing afterwards as well, right? That looks that looks a pretty lovely rushing afterwards. Ah. Well, I'd have taken the pal. I'd have taken the pal and gone to there and then rush this guy in but actually this is better what he's done because now we can move him up to there and then move this guy into there and not rush mm. get apply the arm bar 
Oh yeah, maybe maybe, maybe that's a better way for the Slayer as well. Oh! Oh no, it's the root. Yeah. I was thinking he's blocking, what, what a man, but no, he gets rooted. Now he's just going to dodge the old growth, right? <laughs> it's so weird to fight this tree. Like, fight. It's weird, right? Because the draw of the tree for me is to sucker people into fighting it. But who the hell is going to fight a jump up tree? I guess it's good that it makes him invincible, but... Weird. Yet here we are, J. Leave is indeed fighting the jump up tree, and many other people did in the group stage, so, you know. Armbar didn't know, he dodged away from the, uh, dodged away from the Blitzer, didn't he? The Blitzer doesn't have Armbar. So, tragically, that was not Armbar to get that badly hurt. Yes, a kind sir. There was indeed a short kick blitz. Um, J. Leaf did not defend as well as he could have. He still defended, you know, a lot versus a blitz. Just slightly tiny, not quite as well as he could have done. And of course, he gets it in the absolute worst kick square. And um, <laughs> Olivier stunned his tackler and caught the ball. He got very unlucky on the blitz. He got very unlucky on the blitz. He defended the blitz more than most people do. And then, uh, and then got his tackle as stunned and lost the ball and lost the drive and likely the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, truly no tolerance. Oh dear. If you want to say that, that's what happened. God, this looks grim, doesn't it? The Wood Elves are just so much faster. This is uh, one of the things that I found out in my All World Alliance practice games, was just how much faster. Well, like, not how much faster Dark Elves were, just how slow All World Alliance were. And going side to side really annihilated them. And then, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't really do that in the, uh, in the actual game, because all my players were killed. Which like an interesting stat about the group stage of this. Um, there was one team that made no casualties in the group stage. One team out of 64 made zero casualties in the group stage. There are no prizes for guessing who was that unlucky person. But... <laughs> Um, you know, you have to say that I have to say that person then did qualify for the knockout stage. They did a fantastic job to still somehow not lose and qualify despite causing zero cars in three games. You weren't so um, Mr. Page only made three. With seven mighty blow, he only made three cars. So that was a, that was a lovely ogre dodge. He had to do it right. The tree had rooted. You have to dodge away. Of course, Olivier is going to hang around near the tree. Um, as wood elves tend to do. I mean, all the lines, they get, they get more money and more skills, right, for this format. So I can understand people looking at their package and being impressed. Um, but, yeah, 7 Mighty Blow and Sneaky Git, yeah. But, you know, as impressive as their package is, they're still all well aligned. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, big pal. Yes, true and notorious, yes. If Jaylees recovers from that, that's going to be incredible. Can recover his tackler now, at least. This is not my problem with a tackler, right? Is that your one tackle just gets victimised versus the people who you want to use it against. And the people who don't want you to, you don't want to use it against, it, it's a dead skill, right? Like, it's just weird. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, orcs couldn't really lock down a tackler very well, but they don't have to because it doesn't do anything. But, um... But like, you know, elves are like, oh, well, we'll just put our lineman on this tackle guy and now you can't use him to tackle anything. <laughs> really weird. What he could have done was a 5 plus 5 plus with the uh, ogre and uh, smash the dancer. That would have been okay. Oh wow, he did the jump! The jump 1D and gets the knockdown! Yes! Oh my goodness! Yes! Keita Bix loving it! Wow! Did not think of that, I'll be honest. What a manoeuvre. Makes the rush. Last reroll gone. Makes the pick up. You can stand him up right and then 4-3 with the catcher with dodge. Or he could jump over that way if he wanted to really jump over. Oh, he's going to just dodge him out, isn't he? Duh. And foul him! Oh, he's going to rush and he's going to foul the dancer. No! Yeah, he was going to go. He was going to. He was going to rush. He was double dodge and rush. Or like you know, he did one at a time. So if he hadn't popped dodge, so he's going to double rush to stand there, and then he's going to dodge out and he's going to foul the dancer. Yeah. Man, that was real nice. That was a real nice play, yeah. Fair play, Jay Leaf. One of the Euro Bowl squad that uh, managed second place in Euro Bowl. To France, who of course Olivier Dulac was the star player. So a little bit of a Euro Bowl rematchy type stuff. Great play. Great play from JV. Now, you can also say a little bit sloppy by Olivier to uh allow it but still a great a great spot and uh, attempt like he did leave it very open didn't he like even if he didn't think of the jump there was still like four threes but it was great with him starting there so it was just a straight up one it was really really good jump honestly really good jump great spot The problem is he's out of rerolls, isn't it? And he's lost the ball on his offensive drive. So yeah, interesting, wasn't it? Interesting amount of thinking. I guess he was thinking if he was gonna, you know, do something else, and uh, decided no, he wasn't gonna do anything else. I would have picked it up and gone there instantly, had, but you know. Maybe he was just checking things or whatever, Trevor.
Fails this, but he's got dodge. Didn't stack anything. That was great play by Olivier, right? He knew the one was coming. Like, this guy doesn't have dodge, and he dodged him first. Then he made this dodge that didn't really affect anything. Popped the one, right? That, that guy ate the one, and he dodged the other guy. Fantastic, fantastic, perfect ordering. Perfect ordering by Olivier. <laughs> <laughs> A true master of blood ball. You can get the ogre on the ball, right? That's okay. It's not great. But it's something. And then just jam in as much as you can. Hope for the best. I mean, I, there's probably more to it than that. But not a whole lot more, honestly. <laughs> not a whole lot more than just hoping for the best. Do like a dodge, don't they? Put armbar, armbar on the dancer. Let's go. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of resources on that dancer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dub skull, it was two and a two because you had the guard there. And did not. Yep. I mean, can we say this is a dicing? Like, almost. It's been brutally one sided dice. It's been absolutely brutal dice so far. Absolutely brutal dice so far. Does the one into two? Of course it works perfectly. Why would it not? <laughs> um... Yes, Fluffy Burrito. It's best of one and a half. It's kind of best of two. It's kind. It's best of two and a half. Basically, it's best of two and a half. That's what it is. Um, yeah. The, per the, the appeal of OWA was just purely on the package they got, right? More money, more skills than dwarves or humans would get. Um, so the, what it is, Fluffy Burrito, they play one game, no overtime, then they play another game, no overtime. So there will be at least, you know, like the 16 matchups, there's at least 32 games. If after those two games, there's not a clear winner, then they'll play a third game that has overtime. So if you win both, or you win one, draw one, you win. If it's, Either side wins one, or they both draws, then they play a third. I think that's a much, that's a much, uh, it's a much more concise way of saying. Thank you. Thank you, moods. Some people have said that helped. The problem is, Olivia chose to kick, right? So then you've got to do winning the toss. And then you can't make the other person win the toss. So, you know, you can't just let each person kick because they might not want to, or both receive because they might not want to. And then um, there's also the whole thing of like, you know, what if it's raining and stuff and you, you want to kick, but then this is your receive game, so you just get screwed both, right? So you can just screw them because... Yeah, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't really work. So... Yeah, I think it's a really cool format. 
I've said that about a million times, but I believe it. <laughs> I heard about it in Montpellier in January and I thought, yeah, that's a great, well, I said that's a great idea. And then that's what they went with and, uh, yep. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I. This is why I just don't. I don't really get the jump up tree. Honestly, I think that's kind of a mistake. <laughs> yeah, the half final. That's why that's French in it. Same in German, isn't it? It's the Halbfinals. And that's why the Grand Final is the Grand Final, because the third place playoff is the Little Final. <laughs> or Small Final. Yeah, honestly, Soku, may maybe Olivier could have done. I mean, I don't think he's going to, but maybe he could have, yeah. Maybe he could have done, but uh, I think he's definitely just going to try and stall it out. Yeah, yeah, I, I do like this. Uh, yeah, two and a half K for first. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of things that... Oh, that was a double one. He did get armbarred, but it didn't do anything. Diced. Uh, there's 2D on the ball, though. So, there you go. Uh, two critical 1 in 36s for Olivier that turn. I'm not sure he needed to roll critical 1 in 36s, but maybe he did. Um... He did have these three left behind, didn't he? And actually this guy's really left behind now. And tackle on the catcher. Yeah, 2D with wrestle. Just instant, isn't it? Could get the scatter. The scatter right in the crowd. Could be good for him. I guess he's thinking. If he wants that, he's probably really regretting not having any rerolls now as well. Like, you know, he used rerolls instantly, didn't he? Like, he kind of had to. Um... But now, no rerolls is really tough for him. We did, we did witness an actual arm yeah. Gets the full power. He's definitely going sideline anyway. He doesn't have a choice. Oh my goodness. He's Kaz the Dancer. Let's go. Balls in the crowd. Ogre would have caught it, but he's bonehead. The thrower can get it. He's got to catch it. Oh my god, if only he had rerolls. Wow, what a turnaround. What a turnaround. That's outrageous. He's got these guys that can punch and try to screen. Like, he's got three, four... He's got... Kind of like, you can kind of have a full cage almost. This is unbelievable. I mean, he really wants to score. He really, 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 really wants to score. The problem is if he goes up here, it's near the wrestler and everything, right? He's going to hand off to the catcher. I don't like this as much, honestly. I don't like this as much. Um... But I'm, I know why he did it right, because he's only got one turn after this. So he, he wants the catcher in range and stuff. And now it's eye caged. Like, it makes a lot of sense. But I still kind of liked just having the catcher up separate. But maybe maybe this is better. Maybe this is better. He's just guaranteed to get wrestled, right? 2D wrestled instant. So I'd have tried to, like, cage him. I'd have tried to cage him. But... Oh, he's fouled the he's fouled the wrestler. Okay, 
Okay. I take it back. J leave, brilliant. This was definitely the correct solution. Another removal. For, it turns out that this bonehead might have saved J leave, right? Because he could have, he could have caught it. Um, I don't know, but then he wouldn't have activated it. But if he caught it, he would have had to hand off the ogre, which could have then gone stupid. So it was good that it was already stupid. Yep, this is a catcher, so can't get 2D. This is a catcher, so can 2D. But 1, 2, 3, 4, to double rush to 2D it. And then it's not a great recovery. Like, there's not many players left. Somehow. There's four players off the pitch. And there's three up here and two of them are stunned. The tree's been completely ineffective. And yeah, he's only got three players here and three players here. And two of these are stunned. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Incredible stuff. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like Olivier's turn. They were critical 1 in 36s. That, of course, he failed one of the critical 1 in 36s, which was unlucky. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure he did. The catcher is in walking range of scoring. So, pretty incredible stuff from Jay Lee, honestly. <laughs> WA best team ever. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 he can, he can, one, two, three, four, rush, rush. But then he pushes him closer. Which isn't great, is it? Oh, he can dance her? Do something? Oh, so he's dancer assisting, catcher cancelling, and then running around to hit and push him back. I mean, that's a lot of dice. To hope that Jay Leave doesn't push him back. Because Jay Leave can just push him back anyway, right? With a with frenzy as well. So You can fully just push him push him out. Yeah, you can put this this guy Oh I can't, I can't reach him. You can put him in there and then blitz him and then push him to there and then push him to there, can't he? Wow. Wow. Incredibly. I mean, oh, he doesn't score yet. He's got to make a dodge. Well, he's got to make a blitz and a dodge, right? He's got to make a blitz. And then... Yeah, the jump over was great, yeah. Yes. Yes. If he pushes him on the first one and powers him on the second one, that's brilliant, isn't it? And in fact, if he pushes him twice, then he can just block him and out anyway. So this is, yeah, this is really easy. No, no, he doesn't want to punch the sidestep. Because then the sidestep can get in the way. Oh, no. No, I hate this. Could have pushed him up twice and then just blocked him off, right? I guess you could power him, but then if you power him, then... But then you can... Uh, I don't know. Maybe this is maybe this is okay. But you've got to power him. If you don't power him here... Oh, no, you just follow. But then you were a 4-3. I mean, you power him 75% of the time. You pound 75% of the time, and then you don't have to dodge. But dodging... Okay, gets him. No, no, it was one, two, three, four. The Because the, he could have filled here, right? So it was just been a one, two, three, four squares, right? But he got the knockdown. Don't even... Oh, you lunatic. You lunatic, j -Leave. Oh my god! Oh my god, he's getting the surf as well. If he trip skulls this, he does not trip skull it. Perfect eight turn stall, never in doubt. No, if you miss the knockdown, he sidestepped to here. 
and then you'd have to fall three. Oh, you could have jumped, but no, it's a four three, isn't it? Wow. J leave. Perfect eight turn stall. And, I mean, really perfect because the dancer's cast. That's incredible. But he's got to defend the one turn now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's not easy because Olivier does have two sidesteppers and a frenzy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I 100% it's terrible sorry tree I'm sorry I'm sorry it's well no no I, I didn't I, I look it's uh, it's a lot better versus elves than it is versus bash right versus bash he's got nothing versus bash he's got nothing versus elves it's just like any other team yeah yeah It's just like any other team. Like, it, this isn't that much worse than Orcs, right? At the end of the day, it's not that much worse than Orcs against um, Wood Elves. Or, you know, Undead. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're, they're not, they're just a Bash team. They, they really are kind of fine against Elves. But I mean, I'd still bet on the Woodies every time. Okay, so he's two away, so we're going to do the frenzy into the sidestepper by the looks of it. Or maybe not. Maybe he doesn't have enough players for that. He's only got eight players. Maybe he thought about it. Maybe he put the frenzy there and thought about it and then realised he couldn't. I don't like that you can hit this guy in here. But is he gonna try and hole method? Hole methoding with a sidestepper seems terrible. To be honest. He's out of rerolls as well, isn't he? Also, he's got two defensive assists, so this would be three, four, five, six, seven. He'd need another player in there. And he's gone for it. He's gone for the whole method. Flip me. It's not what I'd do, but who can say if it's good or bad? No, it might be what he has to do, honestly. I'm sure he wanted to blitz this guy back and, and sidestep forward, but I guess he didn't have enough players. Oh, he gets a re-roll for the one turn. He gets a re-roll for the one turn. One turn. This is the worst possible square, just quietly. <laughs> and he's got to use that re-roll instantly. And he gets the push. Oh my goodness, he gets the loner. He gets the push. Flip me if he gets this. <laughs> If he gets this. Wait. Oh, he had done a pass. So you can't, you, when, when you don't see an action above his head, you know it's failed because uh, it kind of spells it for you. So there you go. No one turn. J leave. Primed up for a draw, isn't he? So now Olivier is thinking, do I just draw this and win the next one? Or do I uh, go for a win? And looking at his bench with a dead dancer, he's probably thinking, okay, we just try to draw this one. <laughs> yeah, I do enjoy the tree's helicopter spin. So, I mean, at this point, Olivier has to just be trying for the draw, right? He shouldn't try for the win, I don't think, with a dead dancer. He hasn't made any removals of his own. He's got a dead dancer. His apple's gone. Just try to get out of this match 1-1. And then beat Jay Leave in the next game. Where hopefully he'll get a shadow, a shallow kick, blitz, and start off the ball. Start off Jay Lee's drive with the ball. And then he'd definitely win that one, wouldn't he? 
<laughs> Banter. Oh, well, the Lions could win it with a throw teammate at the end, yes. Wow, yeah, he did get both kills back here. Yeah. Yep, so he's got full 10 players. Huge losing. I mean, it's strip dancer as well, right? So, like, that would be his primary play on defense, wouldn't it? Would be to strip if you know, the ball wasn't on the thrower. Yes, the All World Alliance's uh, two way ability to one turn made me solve one turn defense <laughs> versus stunties. <laughs> uh. As much as I didn't want to have to, I actually had to. I really, I thoroughly prepared for the All World Alliance game. Isn't that funny? The first game in my group against Undead, I was like, eh, whatever. Third game versus Orcs, eh, whatever. But the game versus All World Alliance, I like, I just had to do lots of training for because they're so bad. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> no way, he's got the lineman in the end. Oh, oh my God, he's got an art sweeper. Oh, no, he didn't know. Yes, if both ends in one win each, they go up the third game. Or if, like, if it's not decisive, they play two games. If the two games aren't decisive, they play a third game with overtime. Well done, Moob. You noticed the art sweeper. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Art played like a whole game with a guy in the end zone. <laughs> Hilarious. It's the pal. Ball in the crowd. It's possible. Only two rerolls for Olivia. Hasn't got the hasn't got the thrower, has he? Most of them had the leader thrower. He hasn't got the leader thrower. So two rerolls is very light. Does get the pickup. It's funny because of course now you'd say this would never happen in tabletop, but I happen to know of a story of somebody who, when he got out his team, he just like left a player in the case and played with ten players. So this sort of thing can happen in tabletop. But, you know, at the end of the day, this isn't a Blood Bowl tournament. It's a Blood Bowl 3 tournament. And this is a skill issue in Blood Bowl 3, isn't it? Ultimately, you know, like misclicks at the end of the day. Yeah, you wouldn't misclick in a tabletop match. But, you know, clicking clicking correctly and, and you know, seeing the, you know, reading the board at the end of the day, it's a video game. 99% of video games, clicking correctly is like all the game is. <laughs> so, you know. Why did Sinai put a player in the end zone and not in the LOS? I mean, that's a good question, Soku. That would solve this kind of issue, yes. But they didn't. <laughs> oh, dear tree. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> but, you know, generally people would, would let you take it back as well, wouldn't they? If people could do that. <laughs> that's pretty hilarious, Sol. Did that man also then forget his team at the event as well? <laughs> Surely not. Nobody would be that crazy, so. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Go on, so. <Sol. laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, not to disparage Americans or tabletop, but would this be the same guy who's gone 59 games unbeaten on tabletop? <laughs> <laughs> what an absolute dunce. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, it keeps the tackle back. I like that. It's tough, isn't it? When you, like, I really hate having one tackle. Honestly, in a way, having one tackle, it's not true at all, but I'm going to say it because it sounds funny. Having one tackle is worse than having no tackle, right? Because if this guy didn't have tackle, he'd put him in the best square every turn, right? 
But instead, because he's got tackle, he's like, well, I've got to keep him back, so I've got to tackle her back. So, you know, if he thinks moving this tackler here is stronger, like if it wasn't a tackle, you'd, maybe you'd move him here. But because he's got tackle, you think, I need to keep my tackler back. So it actually does make you... It changes how you've got a position, right? To, to have this alleged ace in the hole. But um, it's just not that much of an ace, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, yeah, it happens, you know, like, uh, Dimmy was, like, clicked on his, uh, you know, zombie, didn't he? And, like, for the touchback, zombie ball carrier, I've done that as well. Like, you know, all of the misclicks. It's just, like, that's just what the game is in, on, like, it's Blood Bowl 3, isn't it? You're not, you're not playing Blood Bowl, you're playing Blood Bowl 3, and you have to click correctly. It's a video game. And you have to... Realize that this is, you know, you have to count your players because you have to know that this is what cyanide do sometimes. But, oof, oof. Olivier, extra adversity for himself. It is half past 11 at night in uh, France right now. This is the round of 32. Try, try. Yep. I mean, they're all playoffs, but this is the knockout phase. Yes. Olivier still hasn't spotted it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, also it's like, yeah, it's even, <laughs> it's even partially obscured. <laughs> it's still playable, but I mean... You kick yourself, don't you? Like it's of course it's playable, right? It's got nine players. It's not the end of the world. Um, you know, it's just playing around the tree as much as he can. Do you three dice with the ogre here? I would three dice with the ogre and try and get on the ball. You know, I, I like three dice. I guess it makes sense to just blitz with the. Uh, Slayer as much as you can, but he doesn't have an easy, really easy hit, does he? I really like the three dice on the catcher there, honestly. <laughs> Olivia now, yep. Dimmy sadly did not make it with knobs now. There are two people have got knobs. Um Andre. Andre's got knobs. And uh, Ratamo has got knobs. There might be a there might be a knob off in the, in the round of sixteen. Oh, you went gone for the three dice tackle. The problem with this is right now your tackler is over here, so the elves are like, oh, shall we go here? <laughs> and like that's the kind of problem with having a having a tackler, isn't it? I guess it's good in a way that you can like kind of use them as the opposite of area denial, right? Like create trap space by uh, moving him away if you like. But if Olivier wants, Olivier can get everybody through a gaping hole here. I wonder if he will. <laughs> I really quite liked blitzing this guy and uh, just, you know, if you power him, move everybody through. But going for the safer wrestle blitz. Still got plenty of time, hasn't he, turn 11? It would have required blitzing with the tree. I still quite liked it. Well, he ruined. I like blitzing with the tree because it's got mighty blow. Mighty blow's really good. And it's got three dice often as well. Smashing things is good. This is kind of how Olivier plays Skaven, isn't it? When he plays a Skaven, he, leaves, he has everyone in this kind of area. And then, you know... You know, goes either side or forward or whatever. I know this time would have been 2D, but... 
I'd have still done it. I'd have still done it. I'd, 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 I'd have failed as well, I'd have rooted. But there you go. I also wouldn't even choose the tree build. I'd, I'd play the KFOG build. I nearly did as well. I thought about changing. It's not single elimination, the Bron. Um, they played two games. And if there is not a clear winner after the two games, then they play a third game with overtime enabled. So maybe three. And maybe three and a half, because there's overtime, right? So maybe three and a half <laughs> games. <laughs> Yep, I love it. Lots of people are saying they like it, so that's they've got great feedback, hasn't it? Nearly everybody's liking the format. Ogre time. Where's the blitz? I guess this the sidestep array right, with tackle. Problem is this is it's hard to defend your tackle after the blitz. Oh, okay, no three dicing. Duh. Duh. Stupid Jim. <laughs> yeah, live here. <laughs> don't drive him back too far, Jay Leaf. You don't want, you don't want to reveal <laughs> his extra player. <laughs> and if he'll switch over to here next turn, then he'll come back to here, and then he'll come back to here, and he'll go, oh shit, I've got another player. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's even called irresistible. He just finds the Dakar irresistible and he's just going to do it no matter what the rest of the team's doing. Maybe never, maybe never, like maybe not this half. It's one of those things that if you've, if you haven't seen it, like he's got no reason to zoom out, right? Like he'll be looking at it like this probably. And like maybe he'll, maybe he'll do this to see behind the tree. Maybe he'll do this. If he, he'll see it if he goes there, but even then he might not see it, right? So like. Oh, KO'd. He might look at the bench now, and he might think, wait a second. So he, the, the removal might have helped him, <laughs> ironically. <laughs> oh, he used a reroll on it as well. Yeah, he's got no dodge. This is the problem, like, this jump up tree has cost him two dodge players. And, you know, if he'd had dodge... Oh, because he's a wrestler anyway, but still. Yeah, I've played. I've played whole whole halves with it. Generally, if if you don't, you know, people often miss it for the whole half. I, I've done it. I mean, it's just for standing the tree up, right? It's just for standing the tree up for free and then moving two squares instead of just staying on the ground forever. Mm. Well, I mean, after after four turns of it, he has no so I can't imagine he's gonna check now. <laughs> Like that's the thing, right? If you don't, if you don't spot it after four turns, the chance that you spot it after five goes down, right? Because you're either like a checker or you're not a checker. So it seems that he's not a checker. Gets the pow. No break.
Oh god, yeah, Jay Lee plays sideways cam, doesn't he? Oh my god. Awful. <laughs> no offense to Jay Lee, and he is streaming this game if you want to watch it, but yeah, he's not missing that guy at all. He must be <laughs> he must be laughing his ass off. <laughs> he's also got he also plays with uh, tackle zones on. So that's really weird, isn't it? Really weird. He's really zoomed out. You can see the whole pitch, the entire the, he's like blimp cam. He's on sideways blink, blimp cam, and he would he would never miss that player in the end zone. This is pretty not pretty good defense from Jay Lee. Running out of time now. Only four turns for Olivier. Running out of players. <laughs> Basically, Karamaya, yeah, basically. Okay, he does get a frenzy to tackle. Finally, um, Jerry exposed the tackler and gets. Well, not that punished because um, Olivia's trapped his dancer. And. Uh, not great, is it? Well, here we go. This is the goal turn. They can't defend. Oh my god, if this guy comes out of the end zone and double rushes to tag the tackle, that will be play of the tournament. <laughs> that will actually be play of the tournament. Because he can... The, I think the plan was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 but that leaves this going 1, 2, 3, 4, rush, rush right 1, 2, 3, 4, rush, rush in fact you can actually just oh my god and if you power him he just goes 1, 2, 3, 4, rush and doesn't even have to dodge but that could have been play of the tournament imagine if this guy just double rushed to stop it that would have been hilarious yeah, if he powers this dancer, that's incredible, isn't it? So actually, even if he doesn't power him, he just dodges this way and it stops the rush, doesn't it? So this is pretty great. Either you power him and you don't have to dodge or you don't power him and you don't have to rush. But either way, it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I mean you could also just blitz the you could also just blitz the catcher. In fact, you can make this block, and if you power him, you go for the sack, and if you don't power him, you go for the uh, frenzy hit and just run up, right? It's an option. Let's see what he does. He gets the full pow. He's absolutely rushing to hit the ball then. I do like this in there because it stops the chance of him ca catching the scatter. The problem is he's got no players left to react himself now, has he? Now he's a bit of a problem. And there is a, ta there is a dancer to surf him, but I mean, you've still got to do this, right? I think you just have to do it. Four rerolls. Doesn't get him. Pushes him into range. And now it's like two, two, two to score. Yuck. Maybe, maybe you should have blitzed this guy. Like it was. Tough, right? Tough, because he did only have the one scoring threat, and now he's made him a scoring threat. Oh, dear. You can actually just chain him as well, can't you? You can actually chain him forward and stuff. He could maybe just stall it. He can maybe he could maybe blitz the tackler and just stall it out. 
You know, he's got four, he's got two plus dodges away from everybody else. He's got a few options, hasn't he? He can, he can go for the chain forward. That's what he's going for. So I guess he's going to squade him in. No, he's not going for the chain forward. He can come back and then he could punch. And he's, he's got a reroll, so dodging is better than punching now. So he could dodge double rush and score, or he could uh, sideline cage. I guess the tackle are trapped. Going here isn't too bad. But he's going to get squeezed real hard next turn. If he does that. And like it's roughing it, like you're only 70% the score if you go for this. And then JL gets three turns to do anyway. Oh my god, here we go. No, he's not going for the score. He's not going for the score. He's going to try to screen it somehow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he can go one more forward probably. Wow, maybe he's going to score. Maybe he's just moved him there and then he's going to think after he's moved him there. He's cheering him on. <laughs> yeah, if he's going to score, he should have chained forward, yeah. He's not going to score. He's sideline caging. Well, provided he makes all of these dodges. Which he does. So he could just try walling off, right, Jerry? Oh! He's failed that dodge. He could just try to wall off. Surf and wall off. He could go for a 6 plus dodge. The 6 plus dodging doesn't seem that good now, does it? Like he could though, he could just like try and base loads and then go for the six plus dodge at the end. Like it's not terrible, right? Like if you if you can wall off in front. It's got the catcher and the lineman, so he could kinda of like try and wall off in front and then just go for the, the three the free roll. Yeah, surf surf the top catcher and swarm is probably what he's gonna do, yes. I mean I agree. But there's the possibility of, you know, this catcher could have gone there, right? And then this lineman could have gone there. And then this slayer could have gone here. And then the lineman could have just 6 plus for the sir. <laughs> like, it's not terrible to do. But yeah, swarm and surf is definitely what I would expect. He's got a 3D into a 2D, hasn't he? Which is very nice. Gets the push. That's the pow. No re-rolls for Olivier. And pretty tricky spot. Very tricky spot. First things first, move this guy up to here. <laughs> Lots of players removed. That was pretty nice from JLE. This looks horrible, doesn't it? Absolutely horrible for Olivia. No, he hands off. 75% hands off makes it. Is he just going to 4-3-2 to score? I guess he is. And he just rolls the dice. Oh, he doesn't score! Nah! He's got to score. <laughs> surely. Surely. I 
I mean, four three two isn't even hard, is it? What What are the odds? Of four three two. Well, plus he had the handoff, right? Oh, okay. It was the whole thing was pretty low, forty-one percent. And after he's made the catch, he was fifty-five percent for the four-three-two. So yeah, it looks like just scoring last turn with the rushes was better. No, oh, well, he gets he gets the guy out of the end zone. He's like, where the hell did this guy come from? <laughs> Jelly's got two turns and he's got the catcher and he's got the fling to toss so he's got a dual threat quick score oh my god that would be hilarious after he's set up he just goes right no dancer on the LOS <laughs> Lyman in the end zone <laughs> this is not easy is it I mean Jail Eve can punch a hole and get a uh, get his catcher caged up pretty easily. And he's got three rerolls to do it. Is does the thrower throw on a three plus? He does. He is a bit of a rubbish thrower. Worse than a human thrower. This looks like really easy to score, doesn't it? Versus eight elves. Yeah, terrible kick. Wait, wait, calm, calm down, Olivier. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that seems ages ago, doesn't it? That seems ages ago. I mean, well, it was about an hour ago, but still. Okay, I mean, you have to... You have to probably... Troll Slayer Blitz, right? To just get the double push. He's even better than the Tackle Blitz, probably. To just make sure you get him out of the way. And, uh... And, I mean, this should be relatively easy to get... The catcher caged up here. Wow, very exciting. Yes, all World Alliance is, is not a great team, but what it does have is a halfling on the LOS. Um, what it does have is um, more gold and skills in these kind of events. The loners are like surprisingly terrible as well. Like horribly bad. <laughs> oh wow, why, why is he going the harder way? It's so weird. If you're gonna if you're gonna hit these two, then go this way, right? If you're gonna hit these two, then go this way. I don't understand. I don't understand this at all. Okay, maybe he's just still thinking. I 
I guess he's going for the Slayer Blitz. The problem is, if like if you don't power it, you're screwed, aren't you? I mean, you just you just got to accept that you lose on a Blitz now, right? You've got you've got a two turn with Old World Alliance versus Olivier Delac. If you get blitzed, you get blitzed. That's it, right? Forget the blitz now. You can think about a timeout and a quick snap things that help you, but you can't. You can't just. Uh... Yeah, the right's obviously the best. Well, this is so weird. It's so weird to go down the side with two side steppers than the side with no side steppers. <laughs> I'm bamboozled. I guess the, these thinking is if he knocks these two over, they're out of the play. But like, they're not really. That's weird. That's really weird. I mean, I'm sure he's got a reason. I just don't know what it is. Okay, he gets the he gets the seventy five percent knockdown and the Kaz. I mean, it's seventy-five percent, right? It's probably going to happen, and you, I guess you can put a re-roll in. And I mean, it's worked out. And I guess you could foul the sidestepper, and then, like the success state, I guess is better, right? Like if you if your plan is to blitz and foul as part of the cage, then I guess removing a sidestepper rather than this sidestepper coming coming back over here next turn. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It would have to rush though to be relevant, which is weird, but there you go. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Rush handoff. Oh, this is horrible, isn't it? This is horrible. Because if you fail this handoff, you almost can't score. But you really want to just make the handoff and get him up. Yeah, yeah, you, you've got to move this guy or this guy here first. You absolutely have to do that or here. You absolutely have to get somebody in one of these two squares. No! No! Jay Leave! No! No! That is bad. Now you've got one scorer who can get served. That is so bad. You had to have somebody here or here. You, or like both, right? That's so bad. That's so bad. He does have a chance. Because he's got this guy who can be thrown, but like... Wow. Wow. Like, you just... It doesn't matter what else you want. If you're going for this handoff, you have to do that. You... Like, whether you're going for handoff or not, like, whatever you're doing, you just have to get one or two more scoring threats. Oh... They're going to play the second game straight after this one, yep. Oh, what a golden opportunity. I didn't expect, I didn't forget the scoring the thing. This would stop him getting served and got a real scoring threat. It's way better. Now he just, what, he's going to base the, og, the uh, ogre and he's going to... Okay, he was, would have also treed the ogre as well, but he doesn't get to treat the ogre. Right, so... He can um, he can blitz this guy and hope to power him, and then he's got the handoff to the halfling, and then one square forward, and then a throw to about here. So it's you know it's definitely possible. He can actually fill in both of these squares as well. Oh, he's moved the frenzy. Uh. That's just definitely wrong, right? It's definitely wrong. Because he could have filled in all these squares and blitzed with the... Uh, like, these two go here and here. Catcher goes here. And then you just blitz and then you're guaranteed to move it. I mean, okay, he's also guaranteed to move it that way. <laughs> so it's not wrong. 
at all. But the problem is now he goes to here, so he can't get forward, right? No, so it was wrong. It was wrong. It was wrong. Because my way would have pushed him out to here, and then the, tr the ogre could have gone there and thrown. So it was wrong, yeah. Oh wow, Andy moved his sure hands guy. Right, but he's got the chance. Just a random wrestler. Right, here we go. Throw a teammate. Doesn't get the extra square though. That could kill him. That could absolutely kill him that he did that he did the blitz wrong. Oh. Oh my god, he's in range! He's in range! He's landed! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Incredible! Incredible! Wow! Wow! I am speechless. He didn't need the secondary scoring threat. Or tertiary scoring threat as it was. Um, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, he did really overcomplicate that, and it wasn't perfect, but he got it done. So, um, yeah, incredible. In to come back from that initial blitz on turn zero, catching the ball on a dancer, tackling uh, the stunning the tackler, that was unbelievable. Against Olivier Dulac, outrageous. And yeah, nerves do play a part. I mean. I can verify that nerves play a massive part in these games. So yes, with the first win now in the series, if Jay Leave draws the second game, he will win. Olivier has to win the second game to get to get to a third game. And um, but so so Olivier still has a lifeline, but massive advantage to Jay Leave um, going into the second game. Congratulations, Jay Leave. Um, not commiserations to Olivier yet, I guess. I, it's a weird thing. I don't know what to say, but uh, yeah, congrats to Jay Leave. He's got the advantage going into game two. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.